refer to question number 17 in the series. This conversion involves the conversion of benzene to give rise to metanitrophenol. The concept here is once when a nitro group is there, it is deactivating. And once when the phenolic group is introduced, phenolic group is generally not directly introduced into the benzene ring, even though by some indirect method through sulfonic acids or by some other method, it is actually strongly orthopara directing. Now, we have two groups which are opposite in terms of activating influence or deactivating influence, they are being placed in meta position see each other. How will you proceed with this conversion? This has to be done in a sort of an indirect way. First, to do a nitration. When we do a nitration, when benzene in, under usual conditions of nitration is concentrated sulfuric acid and nitric acid, it will introduce a nitronium ion and then we will get nitrobenzene. We will first get nitrobenzene. Nitrobenzene can be further nitrated because the moment uh, the OH NO2 group gets introduced, the ring gets deactivated under strong conditions, under very strong conditions when you can still we can succeed in the nitration giving rise to meta dinitrobenzene. So, you get two nitro groups being introduced in the benzene ring. Now, this is being there is a nice reaction where one of the two nitro group normally whenever any acid conditions and we treat it with zinc and HCl or under any other acid conditions, both the nitro groups will get reduced to the amine so that you will get metaphenylene diamine. You will get the amine gear, you will get the amine gear, but you do not want that to happen. We want only one nitro group to be reduced and the other nitro group, there is a route for that, namely treat it with ammonium polysulfide that is ammonium sulfide with some excess sulfur. This is given by the formula NH2 twice, I mean NH4 twice. Sx, Sx means maybe more sulfur atoms are present in the molecule. Then it gives a very nice selective reduction where only one nitro group gets reduced to the amino, the other nitro group remains as nitro group itself. Now we get this compound, this is actually metanitroaniline. Metanitroaniline is actually synthesized from, is obtained from benzene. Now this is being diacetized, as we know, when it is diacetized, this amino group, nitro group will not get affected. The nitro group will become a diazonium ion. Uh, the amino group becomes a diazonium ion. This becomes diazonium chloride. When this diazonium chloride is boiled with water, one of the methods of converting a diazonium salt to a phenol is to simply boil it with water. Boil, simply boil, add water and then boil. Then this will give rise to a phenol which is a metanitrophenol. The nitro group remains unaffected. The nitro group remains there throughout. So, this is the method by means of which benzene is being converted to metanitrophenol. 